Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Valenori across all my social media platforms and as you've already guessed it from the title of this video, we are doing a ColourPop haul on the last three or four collections that came out. I, I, I just went ahead and got them and held them until they all came in so I could just do one collective cohesive haul for you guys. But if you're ready to see what new we got in today from ColourPop, Let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing, really, two, one. Okay, so the first thing we got in from ColourPop was their collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and I went ahead and got the entire Zodiac collection because there were quite a few shades that I actually wanted. And once I started adding them to my cart, I was like, the price per shade started to add up. And I was like, it makes more sense for me to go ahead and get the whole collection. Even though it's like three shades in here I have, I was not interested in at all. But since I have it, I'll find something to actually do with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and insert actual swatches of this for you guys so you'll be able to see it. The next thing that I went ahead and got in is going to be one of their, this is an ultra satin lip and they have new packaging now. Colourpop's new packaging now is so cute. Like, I don't know if this is environmental friendly. You know how I feel about that. But this is so cute. It's a holographic clear plastic they sit it in now. And I went ahead and got an ultra satin lip and I went ahead and got the shade Make Believe. And you know, a purple lavender is it's going to be right up my alley like right up my alley so when i saw this one it's like a lavender purple with a blue undertone when i saw it i was like i gotta have that like yeah i definitely want to go ahead and play with it and really see how it actually work with my actual skin tone i did go ahead and pick up another one as well in their new packaging I did go ahead and grab an ultra matte lip. And this one, I'm sorry, this is another ultra satin lip and this is in Pitter Ponder. So this is what it looks like. And their new packaging is so cute now. It's all holographic. When you actually get it, it's gonna be all holographic. So their new packaging is really cute. And this is what Pitter Ponder looks like. It's the pastel pink with a purple undertone. And because it is an ultra satin lip, I know that this will wear beautifully on my lips. It kind of dries down, but it's still movable. It's not transfer proof. But this is the most hydrating form of a liquid lipstick you're ever going to find on the actual market. ColourPop's ultra satin lips are phenomenal. They are definitely something you should get. So that's one. I did go ahead and pick up their collaboration with I Love Sada He. Sada, Sada Re. Sara, Sara He, and this is her liquid lip, and this is in the shade Sueno de Coco, and it is going to be a ultra matte lip. So here is the packaging for it, and here is the liquid lipstick, and this is just gonna be one of those perfect brownie nudes for women of color. And because it's matte, this means it isn't gonna move, it isn't gonna budge, it will be transfer proof. So it's a rosy brownie nude, which is perfect for women of color. 
Of course, if you are fair complexion, this is gonna come up as a brownie nude on you. It's gonna be a deeper browner nude, but that's gonna be so pretty for women of color. I, I, I can't wait to actually play in these. And of course, I went ahead and just restocked two of their no filter concealers. I went ahead and got the shade Dark 40 and Medium 36. Still the same old packaging. The concealers still look the same. Nothing has changed with the actual concealers. So I'm gonna go ahead and shot swatch 36 right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch 40 right next to it. So this one right here is 36. And this one right here next to it is 40. So that'll be pretty amazing. I My normal one is 40. 40 is the one I always get and use for concealer. But I did notice that it's more of a natural highlight, which means it's about, it really blends right into my actual complexion. So that's the reason I went ahead and got 36, something to be a little bit lighter for days when my foundation is a little dark and I needed to actually pop and be a little brighter. And hands down on the market, ColourPop is my favorite, my favorite concealer, hands down. The ease, the way it blends, the way it wears, doesn't settle into my fine line wrinkles, doesn't create these weird little textures, anything like that. Hands down, concealer, when it comes to concealer, ColourPop is my number one go-to when it comes to concealers. I also went ahead and picked up their Glitterly Obsessed, and I went ahead and picked up the shade Puffin. This is what it looks like. And allegedly it's a body glitter. Uh, of course, I won't be using it for an actual body glitter. I'll actually be using it for an actual eye glitter. So this is what it looks like. And it's all holographic. And let's go ahead and get this swatched for you. When I saw it, I just knew this is gonna be one of the prettier shades. And it's really just a really pretty gold. That yellowy lemonade color is a beautiful gold. And the next thing that I went ahead and picked up is that It's My Pleasure eyeshadow palette. Their packaging has really come a long way and it's become super cute now. And I like that they're now starting to put the names on the actual palettes. And this is their purple palette. And you'll see some of them are matte, some of them are duochromes, and some of them have flecks of glitter in it. So let's go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys. It is a dry matte formula because they are crumbling while I'm actually swatching them. But this is what they look like. So let's go ahead and swatch them. Yeah, that one completely crumbled. Those are really pretty purples. If you like purples or if you've been looking for purples, it's no reason why you would spend huge dollar amounts on certain colors or certain color theories, especially when it comes to really building and boasting your collection. ColourPop is definitely going to be a great way for you to actually go. And the next thing that I got is going to be two items that came in for free with my actual order. They went ahead and gave me a free shader brush and this is their E3. And it's pretty much just a flat eyeshadow brush that they gave me. So it's really great for just packing on shadows. So that was really sweet of them. And I also went ahead and got a free All-Star Matte Blur Face Setting Spray. This is what the packaging looks like with the pump. And let's see what the mess. It smells like setting spray. That's a pretty nice mist. So we'll keep you guys up to date on what, if this actually keeps me matte or if it's just not gonna work. And the next thing that I got is going to be one another one of their actual lips. I went ahead and got an ultra matte lip and this is in the shade Skyfall. 
So again, this is the containers that they now send out. The holographic containers. And this is Skyfall. And let's go ahead and swatch Skyfall for you. So this is a, a deep raspberry watermelon shade. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last item that actually came in. This is again in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And this is going to be the Twinkling Lights lip, liquid lip bundle. I like the way the lights kind of light up. See right there at the top, that's cute. Kathleen always puts such great thought into her actual packaging. But here are her four lipsticks that came in this package. And we'll go ahead and swatch all four. In the package, we're gonna go ahead and have Little Star, which is an ultra matte lip. And this is what Little Star looks like. It's going to be a rosy deep brown, which is a pretty deep nude. <laughs> on deeper women of color, on mid-tone skin tones, on medium skin tones, this is gonna come off as a rosy brown. And if you are a fair complexion, this is definitely gonna come up on a deep brown nude red. Well, not red, but rosy, a deep brown red for you. That is a beautiful color. And again, it is a matte lipstick, so this means it won't transfer, it won't move, it won't budge, or anything like that as you're actually wearing it. So this is pretty gonna be pretty amazing. And the thing about ColourPop is all you really have to do is just make sure you moisturize your lips and put on a lip balm and then put it on, and it won't be so drying on your lips. The next one we got is Nightlight, and this is gonna be an ultra correct glossy lip. And this is what Nightlight looks like all of that sparkle in there. This has a ton of micro glitter in it. And it goes dual chrome. See how it's pink, then it's green, then it shifts gold? So let's go ahead and swatch that for you as well. This applicator is different. The other ones have a Dofa applicator. This is like the old Kylie Cosmetic um, applicators with the little brush on the end. I'm not a fan of when they come with these little brushes. I just wish it just came with a regular Dofa applicator. I'm guessing because of the formula, it had to come that way. But here it is. See how it goes green? It's kind of like that matte eyeshadow that I showed you guys a couple of hauls back. But see how it goes greeny gold? And then it shifts to a pink, to a silver, and then back to a greeny gold. That is pretty. That is a very pretty duo chrome. And the next one that we got is going to be Lucky Star. And Lucky Star is going to be an ultra satin lip. And here's Ultra Star. And it's your orange base red. I wish this was a blue base red, but it's an orange base red. Let's go ahead and get this swatched. And this one's this one has a really strong makeup smell. You know how makeup kind of smells like paint? What that one smells like. But there we go, that's that one. And that's a universal red. It doesn't matter if you're fair, medium, or deep, or dark, or rich tone. That is gonna be a flattering red no matter what your skin tone nor undertone. That is gonna be a really pretty red across the board. And the last one we actually got is going to be in Atole. And Atole is going to be an ultra glossy lip. So this is what Atole looks like. It's a pinky shimmery nude. And it looks more like a universal nude. So let's go ahead and get that swatched. And again, the same little applicator, little brush head thing that I'm not a fan of because using this type of applicator can really start to move your actual lips. That if you put this on top of another lip, liquid lipstick or a lipstick to add you know, a highlight ombre in the middle, it can move it. But here it is up top swatched for you guys. And that is gonna be a universal nude. Again, it doesn't matter if you're fair, medium, deep, 
rich, whatever category you fall in, or your undertone. And that is going to be a pinky nude. So the deeper you go, the more milkier that'll get. That's the only thing I would caution. If you're in the deep, dark, or rich category, be careful because that will come off a little milky depending on the color that you put it on top of. But those are all four from the Kathleen Lights Twinkling Light Set. And of, and of all of these, I'm just like, that one in the middle, this one right here, this one right here just keeps calling my name. See how it goes gold, then back to pink to silver, then it disappears and then it comes back around and it's gold. So as you're talking, moving, it'll do different things on the lips and I love, I love any type of dual chrome, anything that's slightly different, obviously. Look at my lips. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be very pretty. So that is everything from her actual Twink and Lights collection, guys. Hold up. And the next thing, and the last thing on the list coming in is gonna be the next collaboration with I Love Sarahi. And this is her Through My Eyes eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. And I love the fact that it does come with an actual mirror. So that's pretty good. And it does fall flat, flat. That's also another good thing, but here's the inside of the palette. And we can go ahead and swatch a few of these for you. The ones that really caught my eye are going to be these new formulation of glitter infused foils that they have. So let's go ahead and swatch this gold one right here at the top. This one, and of course, <laughs> the pop of teal always gets you. And let's go ahead and swatch some of the mattes in this one. So these are what it looks like. And these two shades are coming across looking pretty similar. But let's go ahead and swatch them to see if it's any different. That yellow mustard. Let's build that up for you guys. So here they are. Oh yeah, they have different undertones. You would think since this one is deeper than this one right than than this one right here, that they would actually come across a whole lot different, but When brands and companies put pretty much the same shade in the palette because one is more of a peach with gold reflex and the other one is a copper with silver. But honest to God, guys, the top two swatches, when you put them on the eye, they're gonna look the same. So I can literally do an eyeshadow look and put one over here with this one and one over here with this one. And I understand one is a peach gold with gold gold is a peach gold shift dual chrome with gold glitter and the other one is a copper shift with peach with silver glitter but honest to god on the eyes they're gonna look the same but again we will continue to play with it and see what happened and just kind of see where that goes <laughs> but if you've made it to this part of the video then that is the end of this actual ColourPop haul i do have a ColourPop eyeshadow palette collection coming i did not forget the young lady who asked me to do the color pop video. I was just waiting on these final eyeshadow palettes to come in. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna go through all my color pop eyeshadows. We'll give them swatches and we'll let you guys know on a scale of one to 10, which ones really bang. Go ahead and get them if they're still available and which ones are crap. You can go ahead and leave it right there on the website. So you can definitely save that money if possible. And of course, ColourPop is already an affordable brand. It's even more affordable at Ulta because remember, you can always go ahead and take that $3.50 coupon off of a $15 purchase to really make your product super affordable. But again, thank you so much for spending time with me today and just going through the ColourPop haul with me. If there's anything in particular that you see that you want me to go ahead and do a look right away with, just let me know and I'll pump. I'll bump that up a little higher on my list of videos that I have coming for you guys. But again, 
doesn't matter if you watch me in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, late at night, you know, sitting at the movie theater, waiting on your movie to start. Girl, I don't care when you watch me. I'm just very happy and blessed that you chose to spend today with me. And again, thank you, YouTube. And until next time.